as a result of the federal level approaches, have there been any cultural health or socioeconomic challenges? Um, it could be for parents, for children, for specific communities. These I, questions were written before this legislation, I think about a year, oh, a year and a bit ago. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think, I think as a result of the federal legislation and then in conjunction to the over presiding first nation child well, welfare laws that, that is the higher arching. I, I would think that like the cultural and the health and the socioeconomic is intended to improve because of first nation child welfare laws. So I can say with, uh, I mean, I, I would, I, I can't say did the health improve or whatever for families, but I would say that the movement that has occurred within those communities that are exercising their authority to to legislate and regulate and deliver like those types of services to children and families will are done with the intent to improve socioeconomic and health and cultural um, um, strength of, of people. And I, I, th I'm, I would think that that has started to happen, particularly with this community in Manitoba that is moving forward in this, um, um, in, on this path. Because they've already, you know, they, they've exercised and they put it right in motion. Now the wheels are going, the laws have changed. Provinces is 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 is, is uh, has made regulation changes in the act um, uh, that this community is is totally overseeing their citizenship, often on reserve. So I guess a sense of community that's definitely that's definitely um, fully entrenched, and service delivery is full force from that from the from the agency for those. Uh, families and children sounds yeah. like there's we're in this transition period right for yeah. um the work that's being done yeah um, and you got to make sure you got good plans in place when taking that transition over and it's done in yes. a methodical well-planned way and i think we're going to most probably um as we move forward in the years to come with this federal legislation I would say that we'll, um, we'll be able to embrace those teachable moments and good practices. I even um, identify some loopholes and, and some um, um, areas that need improvement and eventually um, come up with a good, you know, like a like an ideal type of transfer process, but is that a one fit? Could it be a one fit all? I don't think so because it's each community, right? See, that's the challenge, right? At the end of the day, when it boils down to the, the, the frontline work, when you're at ground zero with children and families, it's that transition. So I, I, I don't know yet what those outcome, those specific outcomes are because we've just we're just finishing up a, tr uh, a transfer process. That's true because I was just thinking Northern Manitou Manitoba is going to be significantly different from Southern Manitoba, just like how Northern Ontario is completely different from Middle Ontario and Southern Ontario, right? All different, all with unique needs and you're de dealing with different nations. I know within Ontario um, itself, right? You have the Cree, OG Cree up in the North and Métis and then you have the Anishinaabe, and then as the further south you come, you have Haudenosaunee and Michisaugi territory. So, the complexity of it all. There's no, there's no rule book written on this. We're, we're the rules, and we're learning. And as as we go through this, like literally, literally, yeah. Uh, my concern, and as as the executive director, my responsibility is for the safety and well being of, of the children that fall under my agency. And so I got to make sure that um, we're in a position where we can safely undergo these, these transfers and transitions as best as we can and that uh, we have the resources to do so. I, I think that you raise an important 
point there about uh, your last point about having the resources to do so, because I don't think we have had the resources to do so. So maybe just Amy to explain our connection between Trudy and I. Well, Trudy and I were part of, um, we, we were engaged in the founding of this agency that Trudy is now the executive director of. So way back when we were part of a working group in 2004, you know, to create this organization because it is unique um, because we are servicing First Nations individuals that reside here in Manitoba but have connections to First Nations in Ontario. So they have a very unique need and there's a huge number of, of people from Ontario First Nations communities residing here in Manitoba. So anyway, when she talked about the socioeconomic, you know, resources to help implement, you know, the act, we don't have that because we are constantly, and Trudy can attest to this, because I sit on the board of directors, both Trudy and I used to be on the board of directors, Trudy was the past president and chair of our board, and then I stepped into that role, um, and so anyway, in terms of uh, the resources to do this kind of work, we don't have that, because, and, you know, Ontario, we're getting lots of calls from Ontario um, to let us know that we have some of their children in our care here in Manitoba. So we need resources to be able to respond to these requests that are coming from Ontario about their children that are here in our jurisdiction. So we don't have the people power to be able to do that on top of all the other work that we're required to do on a day-to-day -day basis. So it has impacted us in, a, in an economic way because we know there's gonna be more coming forward too. That's the challenges we face as an indigenous community. I just wanna to add to that. We don't have any monies that have been fronted to our agency to help with that transition period. So. You know, we have to do it within our existing funding envelope. Well, if I want, is that like an oversight from the federal government, just not taking to, or they're just like, whatever, figure it out? We don't receive funding. Animiki does not receive federal funding. We are, our, our, the funding we receive is provincial. Yeah. So we don't, we don't have any of that C92 funding. C92 funds um, are set really to um under the under the federal law um funds flow to the indigenous governing bodies that have put forward intent to establish their own laws and and set it up through coordination tables the planning for that so like we we aren't like the inimici we're not involved in that and if i could complicate things even more we don't have a political base like of First Nations within Manitoba that will go to bat for our agency. We do have um, uh, connections with um, the Ontario First Nations political organizations, but we don't have that local uh, political um, representation here within Manitoba, which I think kind of complicates things even further because we're trying to make inroads to develop those relationships. And, you know, Trudy has done a really great job because she is from Ontario and has those connections. So I think that just sort of complicates things even further for our agency, because, you know, we are, we do fall under, you know, the Southern uh, Network of Care, um, which is politically um, has representation from all the Southern First Nations communities in Manitoba except for our agency, we have no political representation, um, you know, here in, in, in the province. So I think that that also complicates everything because we're in this really strange situation where we are expected to operate provincially, but we have interprovincial relationships that we also have to maintain and, um, you know, that has to be ongoing and we're still, you know, trying to make those connections. Although I think we've done a really good job in doing that, but I think that there's, I think there's something there that still needs to be explored in terms of how we can get that political representation for the Ontario First Nation citizens who reside here in Manitoba. 
like Marlon said, we're very unique, very unique agency. We don't have that support like our sister Manitoba First Nation agencies do here within these provincial boundaries. But we have, you know, there's, 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 there's good collaboration. 